Hello everyone, my name is Professor Wilson Kamami and my YouTube channel is also called Professor Wilson Kamami. Uh, as I said, I'm here to teach you on mathematics because we are here to simplify mathematics together. So in this case, I've been looking at how we solve calculus, but in this video, we are looking at how we solve statistics. And we are starting with the ungrouped data. And in this case for today, which is our second class on statistics, we are looking at how do we calculate mode, how do we calculate range, and how do we calculate the coefficient of range. So, uh, continue watching, continue subscribing, and watching more videos on statistics. So we are here to simplify this one with a few minutes on how we calculate the mode. I have given my example on mode, but we need to understand what is mode. And in this case, you realize that we said mode is the most occurring number. Mode, you find it is the most occurring number. So in this case, you may arrange this data. You have 3, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, 12, and 14. So what is the most occurring number? Mode, the most occurring number, the number that is occurring. You find that 3 is occurring once, 6, 1, 7, 1, 8, 1, 10. But you find that 12 is occurring twice, and 14 one. So in this case, my most occurring number in this case is 12. But if I had like 14 was occurring three times and 12 was occurring two times, I could have said my mode is 14 because it is occurring more times than 12. That is, that is in case 14 is occurring three times. But in this case, 12 is the most occurring number, so automatically that becomes mode. Then the next one is how do we calculate range? Lage. Lage, I use L minus S. So in this case, how do we calculate lage? I call it, I use L minus S to means this is the largest and smallest. So in this case, I'm calculating the difference between largest and the smallest. So in this case, my L is the largest value and S is my smallest value. So what is my largest value? That's why the first thing I did, I did I was to arrange my data so that you can see the smallest value and the largest value. So in this case, my largest value in this case, you find that my largest value is 14 and my smallest value in this case is 3. So my range is 11. 14, the largest value, minus the smallest value is Three. So it is 14 minus 3, you get 11. That's how we calculate the range. If my largest number was 20, I would have taken 20 minus 3. So the largest minus smallest. But now, how do we calculate the last one? The coefficient. The coefficient of range. How do we calculate the coefficient of range? In this one, we say it will be L minus S all over L plus s. So in this case, I know it is very simple because you know my L is my largest number, my s is my smallest number. So in this case, my L is 14 minus 3 all over 14 plus 3. So you get 11 over 17. So if you like to write that one into, into decimal, you can write that one into decimal, but you get 11 over 17. So that's how we calculate the mode, lage, and the coefficient of age. With that one, it's simple and we can be able to proceed now to what we call how do we calculate median, how do we calculate percentile, how do we calculate quartile, that is lower quartile and upper quartile, which will be on my next video, which I know majority of students have been having problem in on how we calculate median, the, the lower quartile and upper quartile, percentile, decile, so don't go away before watching how do we calculate those one the measure of central tendency at the same time we call them measure of central tendency that is mode mean and median so the other part of measure of central tendency is on median and then a, a quartile division and the like so that's the head of a mode range and coefficient continue subscribing as you can see it is very simple we simplify mathematics so the same case will happen when you are going to the third class on statistics how we simplify mathematics and we said we simplify together. 
So let's proceed to the third video. Thank you.